If you're the kind of person that sees a cheap electric scooter and wishes it could go faster, then you're watching the right video, because this electric scooter is a high-powered, dual-motor speed demon that is unlike any other electric scooter I've ever ridden. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today I am reviewing the Curus NF electric scooter. Now this is not any ordinary electric scooter. This is a 40 mile per hour or 72 kilometer per hour 3.6 kilowatt electric scooter. This thing is a beast. When we're talking about 40 mile per hour scooters and these types of power levels, you really don't want to mess around when it comes to safety gear. I don't really want to go sliding across the pavement at 40 miles an hour. I don't know about you guys. So make sure you're staying safe out there and wear the right gear. All right, now let's take this scooter for a ride. The Curus NF scooter is a wild ride thanks to its loadout. This one came from freemotionshop.com, so make sure you head over there to check it out. But not yet, let me tell you about what makes this scooter so crazy first. On the power side of things, you get two motors rated at 1.8 kilowatts peak for a total of 3.6 kilowatts of power in a scooter. That's four or five times the amount of power you get in a typical electric bike, just to put that into perspective. That power comes from a 1.7 kilowatt hour battery in the deck that is rated for around 60 to 70 miles or 100 to 120 kilometers of range at reasonable city speeds of closer to 25 miles an hour or 40 kilometers per hour. But this scooter can do about 50% better than that, reaching speeds just past 40 miles an hour or 70 kilometers per hour. Interestingly, the scooter isn't high speed capable right out of the box though. There's this orange wire here that limits the speed down to around 12 miles per hour or 20 kilometers per hour. Somehow I accidentally tripped while holding wire cutters and I unfortunately severed this wire. Ever since, my scooter seems to be unlimited. Whoops. Of course now the Curus NF is a lot more fun, blasting up to top speed. And normally I'd be a bit hesitant about traveling at these speeds on this type of vehicle, but just check out the build quality of this thing. There's no loose tubular stem, instead we've got a parallel aluminum plate stem. The suspension here is top notch as well, and you've got a deck so big it should have its own zip code. Not to mention that you get even more foot real estate with the second level deck up here. I'm not sure how I like that extra foot platform, and I can't seem to decide if I should keep using it or not. I feel like most of the time I use the main deck for both feet just out of habit, because that's how I ride every other scooter. But if you want to be able to spread out more, or if you want to carry a passenger, which is probably a bad idea, you definitely have more space with that foot platform. In terms of ride quality, the Curus NF rides quite nicely, though I find that my sweet spot seems to be in the 30 to 35 mile per hour range. I can get it up to 40 miles an hour, but it just feels a bit twitchier to me at those speeds. When I bring it back down to the 30s though, it feels great and it rides like a dream. The big 10 inch by 3 inch wide tires and the hydraulic suspension help with that ride quality as well. And the hydraulic disc brakes offer plenty of stopping power, which gives me the confidence I need to ride faster. I also love the folding mechanism here. There's a giant steel pin that locks the stem in either the up or down position, so you never have to worry about whether or not the scooter is actually locked in place. Of course, a scooter that is as overbuilt as this one isn't going to be lightweight, and this one tips the scales at over 80 pounds or 37 kilograms. That's a bit heavier than what I would call portable, though you can lift it in a pinch if necessary. And the heavy weight matches an equally heavy price at around $2,799. But considering there are plenty of e-bikes out there that cost more yet deliver less, I could see a strong argument being made for the Curus NF over a lot of alternative transportation options. While this scooter might not be for everyone, if you're looking for a fast and powerful electric scooter that is built like a true motor vehicle, this could be the right scooter for you. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time. Oh.